He has everything we ate on the MSC Splendida over three days and three nights. Day one, we bought it at 10 and this was our early lunch at the Bora Bora Buffet. Mahabi had a burger, fries, some roast beef with some mash and a chicken wing. I had roast beef, salad, mash and a slice of focaccia. His burger was a little dry and I quite enjoyed my lunch. For dinner, we ate at our designated restaurant on the 7th floor. You are served with fresh bread to start off with. We got some wine with our vouchers and you need to scan the menu or you can ask for the physical menu. So my husband had the pumpkin soup, which I guess needed a bit more seasoning. I had the seafood cocktail, which was okay. Uh, steamed seafood, just I guess tossed in lemon juice, it wasn't too bad. For mains, we had the steamed butterfish with a curry sauce, this was okay. They skimmed on the chicken for the butter chicken, which was also not too bad. And my steak and veggies was really good, I quite enjoyed this meal. So for dessert, my husband ordered the sorbet. One of us ordered the Austrian chocolate cake, which was a tad bit bitter because it was dark chocolate. I had the pistachio cake, which I quite enjoyed, and Ivan got lots of cheese on his cheese platter, as you guys can see. The portions are quite small, but you can always go to the buffet after. So dinner on the first night was so-so. For breakfast, we ate at the Bora Bora Buffet, started off with some oats, fruit, and yogurt. I also had some bacon, mini lamb sausages, and a fried egg. For lunch, we ate at the restaurant on the fifth floor. I had the walnut and blue cheese salad. I expected a bit more with regards to flavor. The pea soup was also under seasoned. Uh, my leg of lamb, the roast leg of lamb, was really good with the veggies. And this chicken curry that we also ordered, it was it was okay. It was it wasn't too bad. And I love a good apple crumble, and this was really good as well. We ate at the Bora Bora buffet on the second night. I had the go and fish curry, which was quite pleasant. For breakfast on the second day, we had a really lovely view at the restaurant. Tea and filtered coffee is complimentary. This was the most under seasoned meal that I had. Eggs Florentine with a side of bacon and beans. Nivian had an omelette with bacon. Sayuri had scrambled eggs and salmon, and I think her breakfast was the best. Kurs had the same as me with extra sides. Do order a side of pancakes if you have a sweet tooth. The pancakes were really good. They were soft and fluffy, and we really enjoyed them. Now this, this is called a frozen Toblerone. You can get it in a mocktail version or you can have alcohol like we did. It's absolutely divine. We had this every single day of the cruise. For lunch, I wasn't really feeling lunch. Like the seafood pasta was a bit fishy, but the pizza, the pizza on the cruise was really amazing throughout our entire cruise. Now dinner on the last night was on the seventh floor and we had an Italian themed dinner. I had the lamb pasty to start off with, which was quite good. I also ordered the seafood grill, which looked amazing, but needed a squeeze of lemon and some lemon sauce. I ended up ordering the veggie risotto, which I quite enjoyed. Hubby ordered the lasagna, which was good. He enjoyed it. For dessert, I had the lemon cake, which was nice. The tiramisu was also really good. And in my opinion, with regards to the food, the portions in the restaurant are quite small. I found the meals to be more pleasant and beautifully presented. The buffet has plenty to choose from. The pizza was certainly our go-to and our favorite. And I think overall the food was okay. It kept us sustained and with the good company, it really made up for the meals that lacked seasoning and flavor.